Hi, Mike Panja here, and today we're going to make something special for your cookouts. Now, just about everyone can do good burgers. If you've practiced and you've done it many times, you're going to make a good burger. You know how to do it. You know what your guests like. You know what your family's like. So let's punch it up a notch and give them fresh baked hamburger rolls with the burgers. Makes it something special, something unique, something that your neighbors, friends, and family don't usually do. I'm gonna add one package of yeast to the warm water. Stir it up. And I'm going to assume the yeast is good, so I'll add sugar to help feed it. And of course, if the yeast doesn't proof, I've wasted the sugar. So we'll give it a few minutes and we'll see what happens. The yeast has foamed up nicely, so we can see it's live. We're gonna add that yeast water in, and the oil. Now we're ready for the stand mixer. Gonna use the dough hook attachment, and give it eight minutes. To me, the easiest way to get 12 equal hamburger buns is by weight. So I'm gonna dump out the dough into a bowl, which I've zeroed on the scale, and I'll do a little math and figure out what a 12th of the whole mess is. So we have 1,480 grams. That comes out to 123 and a third grams per hamburger roll. Now the easiest way to handle this kind of dough is if you have a little bit of oil on your hands and I'm gonna do it with cooking spray. Looking for 123 per roll. On the money, 123. All right, now we roll them up and flatten it a little bit so it looks more like the traditional hamburger roll. If you like at this point, it'd be good to press them down lightly with a spatula to give them a little more diameter for the larger burgers. Now cover them with a damp, not wet, a damp kitchen towel and let them rest 10 to 15 minutes. Now let's prepare a simple egg wash which is nothing more than a fork beaten egg with a little bit of water, perhaps a tablespoon or so. Now we can uncover our hamburger buns and take our egg wash and lightly coat each of the buns with a little wash. 
Now you have some choices. You could either leave them as they are, put nothing on them, that'd be fine. Or we can uh, copy McDonald's idea of a sesame seed bun and put lightly, put some sesame seeds on top of some of them. My other idea is I have a blend of spices that go on an everything bagel. And that's a pretty nice topping for these rolls also. So gently, gently, some of those. And I'll leave some plain. Now it's into the oven they go. In the good old summer time, grilled burgers are the best. Add fresh baked rolls and you will find you'll please most any guest.